In this lecture, we're going to study electronegativity. And uh, to give you an idea what electronegativity, uh, what, the, what the term electronegativity means, it's simply a tendency for atoms to gain electrons or to pull electrons towards themselves. So you can see I've arranged all the elements in a, in a row in the period of the periodic table, starting from group 1, group 2, group 3, and I've uh, basically shown you a trend till group 7. Uh, I'm talking about period 1. In this case, we have lithium, beryllium, boron, and fluorine. Lithium has three electrons, so it's occupying uh, three electrons are present in two shells. Beryllium has four electrons in two shells. Boron has five electrons in two shells and so on. So the number of shells is not increasing. Whereas uh, the number of protons is increasing. So you have more and more protons. So the nucleus of fluorine has nine protons, where the nucleus of lithium has just three protons. Now, three protons in the nucleus will not exert enough positive charge to attract electrons. So this one will have a smaller tendency to attract electrons whereas on the other hand fluorine has nine protons so its nucleus is very positively charged so its nucleus is going to attract electrons very readily so fluorine is going to have a very high tendency to attract electrons so you have this trend across the period. As you move from left-hand side of the periodic table to the right-hand side of the periodic table, the tendency for atoms to attract electrons is going to increase. And the reason for that is that the size of the atom is not increasing, but the nucleus, the protons in the nucleus, they are increasing. So they're going to exert a much larger positive charge, which is going to attract even more electrons. So which is why the lithium, the elements on the left-hand side tend to lose electrons and atoms on the right-hand side of the periodic table tend to gain electrons. So across the period from left to right, electronegativity increases. So that's one trend we're going to stick with, which is uh, you must remember that from left-hand side of the periodic table to the right-hand side, elements become more electronegative, which basically means that they have a higher tendency to accept electrons. Now we're going to see how different atoms we're talking about. Uh, I've drawn three, uh, during, uh, three structures, electronic configurations of three substances. One is lithium, the other one is sodium, and the third one is potassium, which all, all belong to group one and we can see that as we move down a group so down a group as you move down a group in the periodic table the size of the atom of the atom is going to is going to increase now, since it is increasing, which it means that the nucleus is much, uh, much further inside, and it's protected and surrounded by electrons. So, this nucleus cannot exert. For example, if you look at potassium, this nucleus cannot exert a force of attraction on the electrons. I mean, the force of attraction will be there, but it won't be as significant as the force of attraction exerted by the lithium nucleus over here. So this electron is going to be held by the lithium nucleus much more strongly because the distance is lesser and the nucleus is very close to the electron. But over here, for example, if we look at this electron, potassium nucleus is not going to exert a much a very large force on this electron because the nucleus is very far off and there are too many electrons in between. So remember that down a group, down a group, uh, as you move down a group. electronegativity decreases or vice versa if you move up the group electronegativity is going to increase lithium is going to be a lot more electronegative it's going to attract electrons because the nucleus is not very far off from the electron whereas potassium is going is not going to attract electrons very strongly to itself so potassium is less electronegative
and lithium is a lot more electronegative. So uh, this is the basic idea of electronegativity and we will be using this idea in many different ways in later topics which we are going to cover.